when you're printing 3D printing, you know, it, especially you know filament and even in uh, resin, you can't just throw it out there and hope it works. You got to add supports. The thing is, is you don't always need a lot. Greetings, Dave here. DCB Facts. I want to fill you in on something that uh, happened today. I was waiting for something and um, print finished and I had a quick interaction with someone. So get to the video. So I'm sitting here in the office because my motorcycle won't start. I'm waiting for my booster to charge up. So yeah, I was doing this print here for Guillaume. And this is the one of the last pieces for the Quasar Saber. So this is the tip of the Quasar Saber. And one thing I thought was really funny is I like to give Guillaume updates because, you know, that's what I do. I say, here's an update. Here's what's going on. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. And I showed him this to about here. And his comment was, that little support? And I went, yeah, sure. Why not? Hey, trust me, I'm a professional. So the funny thing is, is that's really all you need, depending on what you're printing. Like this is straight up and down. Doesn't have a lot of support required. Here, let me just pull this off the bed here. I'm sure, it will come off. Doesn't require a lot. Now the thing about this is, there's a post that goes into about there. I'd say this is for the dowel that you run through the whole system. So this is that much base. And this, I don't know why this it even added that little piece in when it was doing the uh, uh, the layout for it, because it doesn't touch anything. But it does give a little extra there. So that whole thing in four hours, just printed, 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 printed all the way up and actually came to a decent point there. I'm actually quite impressed. That may need to be strengthened a little bit, but that's not for me to do. I'm just the printer. This is where you go and the finish. But yeah, so it really depends on what you're printing. Because, like I say, this has got a huge piece going in here. It's a huge piece of dowel. So the solidity of this is pretty solid. Like, it's it's good. It's not going anywhere. And it came off the bed pretty easily because the print stopped a couple minutes ago. And the way this works is these beds, once they you know, cool down, it makes it easier to get things off. When they're really hot, it's like, mm. as I was talking about before, about the, uh, the uh, resume print feature. And it works really well because, you know, it ran out. And the filament ran out, and I was able to resume because this bed stayed hot, which means it stayed stuck to it. Uh, the worst thing you can do is have the heat go down because the sun just slides around, and then you're done. Monster start over. If this is the first time you fit this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a, a little sub at the bottom. I'm trying to get my subs up to a little bit, uh, you know, higher level so I can keep growing as uh, this channel grows. I'm at 450 videos now, so there's a huge backlog. Well, I'm in a backlog. Here's a huge catalog of videos you can look at. So if you subscribe, you'll get more notifications as I post new videos, which I'm doing three times a week. And now apparently I'm adding in a couple shorts during the week as well. So if you could sub, I'd really appreciate it. So that is just something to show off uh, that, yeah, if you got it dialed in right, you don't need a huge amount of support. So I didn't need something this big and then support, support, support all over these edges here i don't need that because i got good solid in the middle and in the end this looks pretty good you know a little bit of sanding is going to be required because it's you know a layered print but it is what it is so i just wanted to show that off this is something that you can do with your print jobs if you can get this thing dialed in correctly and also too uh this is not terribly heavy this is only 20 percent infill so it's not like it's stupid heavy so it's not like it's going through every piece well if you saw it which you didn't because i didn't record it if you saw it well it was recording uh, printing everything down it was quite a bit infill but again this is a really this is a cosplay prop this is something someone's going to carry around with this is not something they're going to be swinging at uh because in this show they were using you know probably foam rubber anyway uh with a solid base to the core and then foam the whole thing up so you're good to go but that is something to think about when you're doing all these uh, these uh, designs and, and or taking your prints and you're cutting them up so that they work. Uh, something to think about. You don't require huge amounts of supports. So that's the video for now. Uh, just thought I would mention that. And uh, yeah, that's something you can do. So just a little FYI for your, all you new printers out there. So that's it for today. Everyone have a great day. Talk to you all later.